Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Rise of the Triad with modern day FPS controls using a program called Rinrot GL. And it's actually really simple to do. There's going to be three links in the description of this video. Go ahead and click on them. Download those three zip files. Be sure you have something like seven zips so you can open them up. And once you have those three files, download it, open them up in seven zip or whatever you use to deal with RAR files. And the next thing we have to do is open up the directory to where Rise of the Triad is installed. So we'll go to the install directory of Rise of the Triad. Make sure you're in this folder and not a DOSBox folder. And then you're just going to go ahead and click and drag the contents of these three folders into the directory folder. If it asks you to replace files, say yes. And now that we have those in our directory, we can close out of our downloaded folders and we can go to our directory. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the launcher that we just moved in here. And it is called WinRot, GL Fool. So we're going to go ahead and double click it. And on this screen, you can choose the resolution and window size that you want. You can choose extra levels to play and stuff like that with these two tabs over here. But for me, I just want to play the base game and get it working with modern day controls. So we're just going to hit run. Once you get your game on, we just have to configure the controls. So we're going to go down to options, and then we're going to go to controls, and we're going to go to customize controls, customize keyboard, and on this screen we can customize our controls. So we're going to go to forward, set it to W, backward, set it to S, open, set it to E, then we're going to go to strafe left, set it to A, strafe right, set it to D, and we're going to go to aim. This is usually set to A. Make sure it's set to anything but A so it won't mess with anything. And you can feel free to change the other controls to whatever your liking is as well. Then we're going to go back. Go back one more time. One more time after that. Then we're going to go to extra user options. And we're going to go and we're going to check off inverse mouse. We're doing this because our mouse actually starts out inverted and this will correct that. And now you can play your game with modern day FPS controls. I hope this helped. And if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a bunch of videos on how to set up older games with modern day controls. And also a bunch of stuff on emulation. So be sure to check some out. You guys have a good one.